Well, I'm still here. It's the same morning. And uh, I've been really enjoying doing these little stories. I, I've, I've never done anything like this in my life. We used to do performances, um, monologues back in the 90s. Uh, and I had done, you know, um, lectures and speeches and stuff, but I'd never done anything like this. I'm just enjoying it a lot. So I have one more of the, uh, to do this morning, a, a completely different subject. Um, back in the 1970s, 70s, 1970s, last century, last uh, millennium. Um, it was 1977, and that was a very, very important year for me. Um, I was living in Mexico, and I had a studio, and uh, I was painting and drawing and really searching for language. I, I wasn't clear yet exactly what I wanted to concentrate on. Um, I had enrolled in fine arts in 1965. Uh, and, and so, you know, we're talking um, uh, 12 years later. Uh, I, had, I had undertaken a number of directions, but I still didn't really have it figured out. Like, what the hell am I working on? Um, but I was moving into abstraction and, and, and enjoying abstraction. And I was trying to, to accomplish true abstract art, not, not, a, not an abstract from a landscape or from, from a subject or from a person, but a, a concept of abstraction of space, of a two-dimensional space that you divide and then give different color relationships to and try to keep it at that. And that was a struggle to get away from figurative thinking and literally try to think abstractly. And the funny thing is, is as I'm telling this story, another story is emerging that's very related, but I'm gonna to stick to the story. Um, as I was really trying to shed my figurative roots, not that I would wanna do that forever, but I just needed to see if I could do it. it. You know, Can I actually paint abstractly? What does it feel like to paint abstractly? Um, all of a sudden I got this urge. I can't tell you why, because creative urges, I suppose you could logically explain a creative urge, but I don't think that's a smart idea. I think I think creative urges are like, like you have an iron pot over a fire and there's some kind of a stew in there with chunks of all kinds of stuff and they, they float around and they surface and whatever. You just try to take from the pot. So, I got this urge to go out into the landscape, plein air, plein air, and paint a landscape. Here I was struggling to paint abstractly. And I drove out, and I mean, in Mexico, when you drive out into the country, it's not like America. When you drive out into the country in Mexico, you are in the country. It's like, I don't, you don't even know if there's been a human there. It's like, you, you don't have to drive very far from, from either a town or a city before you're like in the country. Nothing like, the, I mean, hills and meadow and sky. Like the Mexican sky is amazing. It, it just, it's, okay. So I did, I had a Volkswagen, the old bug. I had a little the VW bug and I drove that little guy way out into the country and I was standing there in a meadow. There's nothing, there's no human evidence of anything. There's no electricity, there's no lines, there's no nothing. And it's just beautiful. And I lashed a canvas to the back of my bug because the back of the bug was this really nice curve. Y'all remember that. If you don't remember, I wouldn't be surprised because nobody now remembers anything. <laughs> Yesterday, I told a guy, he, I asked him if he had seen the original movie Frankenstein. He said, who was that? Who was that? Okay, fine. So the bug curve, I lashed the canvas and the canvas was like maybe, uh, I don't remember exactly, but I think it was maybe six by five or something. Five. I think it was like six by five or six by seven. I think it was more horizontal. And I spent the day painting the landscape. And um, when I work, I won't speak for all artists. That, that's not a very good idea either. When I work, uh, I know when, when that window opens and like when you're in it, when you hit it. And when you're hitting it, you're like, oh, you're hitting it. And, and it's almost like you're not even doing it. You're, you're just there. 
and it's happening. So that was happening and I was amazed and the sky was coming out like, oh my God, that's just so beautiful. I felt something weird behind me. I just had this energy feeling and I looked behind me and there was this campesino. And in, in Spanish, a campesino is, is a, 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 a like a farmer, a country worker. And they're, they're dressed in all whites with a white sombrero and they wear huarachis, which are these, these leather sandals with the tire tread as the bottom, which is brilliant because the tire, tire tread from the bottom of a shoe is amazing. And he's standing there with a donkey and he's watching me paint. And I turn back, continue to paint. I look back, he's still standing there with his donkey. And he comes up right behind me and he's only like, you know, seven feet away from me. And he says to me in Spanish, of course, he says, you'd better hurry up because everything is always changing. And then he and his donkey just walked into the distance. And I, I'm even now I'm covered with goosebumps because when he said it, my whole body just lit up and I continued painting. So when I was done painting, I, uh, un I unlashed the canvas and, and carefully put it back in the Volkswagen so it wouldn't um, get wet paint on anything. And of course it was oils. Um, don't get me started about acrylics. I drove back to the studio and I put the canvas up at the back of the studio and continued my search for abstraction. Over time, that painting was bugging the hell out of me because here I am trying to like find abstraction honestly. I could I could fake it, I could do an abstraction, that's easy. You know, we, you want a Barnett Newman, you want a Mark Rothko, you want a, you know, you want a, 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 a Clifford Still, you want, you know, who, not that it would be as good, I didn't say that. Right? Don't don't get excited. But I could fake it, you know. But you're faking. I wanted to really feel like I was making an abstraction. But that damn paint that painting kept bugging me so much. One morning I just got up and I took a bucket of red paint and I painted that entire plein air landscape red. And then I was able to paint my first true abstraction. That's it.